we back. Hey. Yes, my name is David Amor. My name is Sherry Schmaltz. Technically, I am Mrs. Amor now. Most people say, you know, Amoa. The Amoa is actually David Amor. And the Ghanaians will say Amor. Um, David Kwajo Amor, to be exact. Born on a Monday. All my kajas out there, peace, love. <laughs> um, and I am Ghanaian. I am 28 years old. Point of correction, young. 28 years young. Um, I was born and raised in Germany, but I am actually um, originally from Ghana. So I was born in the UK, but I've lived in Ghana as well. Um, and I loved my time there. I am married. We've done our traditional ceremony, but yeah, we haven't done kind of the legal side of things, switching up the names and all that stuff. Oh, I forgot to say, I am 27 years of age. I've been a Christian for a while now. Myself and my brother were both um, brought up, raised up in, in a Christian home. My dad is a pastor. Um, was raised up in a Christian family so I've been in and around the church but importantly I um, received the gospel message and really just love Jesus Christ because I know he loves me. I'm really really grateful for um, both my mom and dad. Um, out of like the two of us, me and my brother, I was the most rebellious um, so it's just amazing where where I'm at now and how my my faith and my relationship with Christ has developed. I studied accounting and finance in Coventry University. Yeah, came out with that first class in the bag, first class in the bag. I studied art and design in college and then I was supposed to go on and do um, fine art at uh, Cambridge University. I remember, <laughs> yeah, applying for um, a foundation course and I was accepted. Little did I know that you actually have to finance it yourself. So, yeah, we, we weren't in a position to, I mean, I we just we had just moved to the UK. So unfortunately, um, I couldn't go down that route, but it really helped me to kind of develop my sketching skills and my illustration skills. I did a HND in fashion textile and then I went on to study fashion textile marketing. Job wise I am a teaching assistant. Business. Business. Business analyst. The first thing that came to mind was open and honest communication. That's like a basic <laughs> quality I think requirement, um, non-negotiable. A relationship whereby you understand one another, um, there is good communication amongst yourselves and there is vulnerability, there's transparency in that relationship. Apologise and um, forgive. I think, yeah, the key word here is willingness. For me as a believer, the bedrock of that is also, you know, um, having the same values is essential and actually should I, I'll, I'll go further to say, um, being of the same faith, being of the same faith is a plus plus, a very, very good thing. A really, 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 really big one is community. I think it's so, so important to have uh, people around you that are really rooting for you, covering you. Honestly, <laughs> it goes a, a very, very long way. You, you don't ever stop learning um, how to serve, how to love, so yeah. <laughs> Myself and David, we... I believe I met Sherry in the year 2012. 2012. To be more particular in a church called Redeemed Christian Church of God Holy Ghost Zone. We were around each other a lot. He was in um, he was part of the ministers and I was serving in two different departments. I will say 
that she did catch my eye and I thought she was stunning. I thought she was beautiful. I, I didn't make any moves then and there. I've seen each other here and there, but no relationship till like two, three, four, yeah, three, nearly three, four years down the line actually. dating for we dated for three years actually three years before we married um, to be exact is probably three years and three weeks yeah but it took it took a, a sherry a while for her to get back to me with an answer you know for us to actually start dating can you imagine she needed to have certain things clear in her mind she needed to be certain of certain things she needed to ask and do her due diligence do her due diligence <laughs> when i would do this I, I do it a lot but it's because i don't like having things stuck in my teeth this one i'm not proud of but hey it happens it is called the catastrophic fartings it's not cute it's not cute <laughs> um, i was faithful faithfully serving in the church that i was at and she was committed if she wanted to do something she would she would do it um and although it may be challenging and difficult she will persevere and do it and that's where you know I was like, yeah, this is this is good. This is nice. I'd say David is the one, um, and I, I don't say that because I am one of those people that believes that there is only one single person in this whole wide world for you. And if you miss that person, you're gonna be miserable for the rest of your life. No, that's not. That's not um, what I mean by that. I just I allowed him to be the one. Um, me and so yeah it's, it's honestly just as simple as that <laughs> i'm a happy girl <laughs> and i prayed about it no doubt about that but there's one thing i would say god don't choose for you god doesn't choose for you i had to do the choosing sometimes when we use testimony i know the context within or the um, yeah, the context within which this person would have asked it, like testimonies is practically our story, um, our prevailing stories. I don't think I can rank my experiences. I mean, I'm only 28 years old, so some people will be like, what have you experienced? The expressions of your love thing creeps me like I could talk about my 17th birthday when I fell out the window and broke my left ankle joint and it took a year to recover. I literally had to learn how to walk again, take my first couple steps, learn how to walk up and down the staircase and when I thought this is looking good, I'm going to recover. The following four or five years, I had six major surgeries, three minor surgeries. I could tell you about my autoimmune disorder that I developed. I don't even know at what age. Um, and I experienced alopecia where my eyebrows have um, fallen off and my eyelashes i have lost and regained hair could tell you about my horrific experience back in 2014 I was um, sexually assaulted and raped and it was a very very difficult um, time 
not just the first year where I was, you know, being prepared for um, trial, but they actually went on to convict him. Um, it was a out of body experience, honestly. I was going through depression and didn't know I was going to do through depression. I had so many people in my corner and fight for me. Um, the the officers, Katie, um, yeah, and honestly, thank God for perspective, thank God for hindsight. Um, in hindsight, I am able to really pinpoint um, where God was really, he was there and um, he was holding my hand through all of it. My most recent experience, um, last year I was diagnosed with B-cell lymphoma. Not a lot of people knew my parents, obviously. My now husband, then boyfriend, my brother, and just, yeah, my, my closest friends. It was really tough, I mean, I, I was at the uh, at a stage where I was on the waiting list um, for chemotherapy, and yeah, I was still waiting for some scans we had seen a multiple specialists that confirmed the diagnosis were actually considering for me to possibly move to germany and get treated there and yeah let's just say god came through and through prayer and fasting anyway that's <laughs> another story for another time people say that you know what happens to you doesn't define you but i believe it does um, for me personally anyway. It is one of the big reasons why I am who I am. Um, I mean my faith was developed because of my pain, my strength was developed because of my pain, my perseverance was developed because of my pain, my empathy and understanding for people that have gone through assault, abuse. Um, it was all developed because of my pain and I <laughs> um, I could uh, tell you about testimonies till thy kingdom come honestly. My ultimate and yeah most important testimony is me being a part of Christ's family. It puts life pain, my experiences, um, it puts it all into perspective. On the other side of pain is God's goodness and his faithfulness, um, his compassion, his love and honestly I am able to persevere because of that truth. Yeah. I'm grateful for um, several instances in my life where there have been people to come alongside me to encourage, to, you know, to teach, to guide, to direct, to support, to build, to, to share, literally, like, that, that is, is a, a testimony in itself. My greatest testimony is this, that I have been saved, I am a son of the living God. I was exposed to the gospel and I believed and received the gospel and that has changed everything. Like literally I've become so much more confident in the person that I am and who I, yeah, my identity. That just is my greatest story. It's, it's actually my story, just as it, it is yours or it can be yours. Hey guys, so we will be taking the last couple of questions together. Together, together, okay. David's 
said I love you first for obvious reasons. Come on, argue. I remember when it happened, but I was really caught off guard. Like I actually didn't see it coming. One of the really important things I said yeah. was that I wanted to take, take it, it slow. slow. Like, yeah, really, yeah. Really, really slow. I unfortunately did not say it back. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. What did I look disappointed? Oh, you weren't expecting for me to say that? No, of course not. Really? Yeah. Okay. Wait, what, when exactly did I say? When? Which? What Outside of um, the sister's house. Yeah. 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 So what, you remember? Yeah, yeah. Was it after the car we spent a long time yeah. in the car talking? Yeah. And then... Yeah. So it was. It was a nice feeling, but it, it was too early for me, especially like going into our relationship. I wanted things to not just look differently but also feel different so i wasn't expecting to have the feels kind of stray away like that that was not um that wasn't something that was important to me at all um so yeah yeah i, I would answer and say i love her more what makes you say that? i think yeah because i mean a, a good way to tell is who has more patience with the other. <laughs> what? That's a good way. Love, love is patient, love so, is kind. Wait, so you have more patience? <laughs> what in the world? Love is patient, love is kind. So love what, does not bear patience? record of wrongs. <laughs> <laughs> so all the wrong, 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 I know I'm bare, it's like just. <laughs> oh my god, so I do. Love, so I don't know. What do you mean you? You? you don't know? Uh, no, you don't, you don't, you don't. To oh be honest, she's God, very good, she doesn't. Up. But you bring it up, and of course it needs to be talked about. And then sometimes you slip it here and there, but you did, I'm like, oh gosh, no. Patience always on and on, but he has a more. You do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think the longer you leave it, the more challenging it can be, 100% without yeah. a doubt. I mean, some, yeah. some people it works, but if you're in close pro proximity to one another, you have your own places to stay and live without, you have to have great accountability. So we made it an intentional thing yeah. to have um, people that we're accountable to. You have to have good relations with others, your leaders as well. So our pastor sometimes will just ask, me out of the random shout out and love to pastor <laughs> anyone to tell me pe right there you have to um like right out the back kind of leave that door open for people to really be a part of your relationship for them to have room to kind of call you out and correct you and stuff like that i mean mm -hmm. david even before kind of he told me that he oh yeah <laughs> uh, wanted to you know be in a relationship with me he had already told our pastor about it i'm not gonna lie i wasn't used to that mm. yeah. so for me it was it was a little overwhelming um but at the same time i i think it was definitely needed going back to the whole like taking it slow mm. what i always say to people now is only get into um you know a relationship if you have a very very specific timeline like you know that once you you guys get together one year from now you are going to be engaged and then maybe a, a couple of months after that or another year you'll be married um yeah i think i think that's really important just because we kind of underestimated <laughs> the challenge how hard, how hard it was it will be, going yeah. to be yeah because if you have attraction towards you know if you have attraction for one another yeah by the way we're talking um, about maintaining purity yeah maintaining purity in a yeah. relationship yeah um yeah we saw ourselves graduate and pass you know just um you know even to to give a hug like literally we will time our hugs <laughs> yeah, guys, well, that was our my hugs. part like, yeah it like, was our hugs we started off our hugs were on a timer <laughs> like we would just it was, and I loved it though. Like that, it just, yeah, was good. right? We always had something to look missed, forward yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'd be there like one, two, two three. <laughs> Get to thirty seconds. We're like, okay. Because that's if it. we kept on game, we will, we will just graduate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your beauty, hundred percent. Like that has been constant. Fine, nice, and you're fine, and you're fine. 
So I've been maintaining my finance. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean that thing, you know, it's a big thing. Most, some people don't take that for granted as the whole inner out of beauty thing. I, I don't think you've changed your character and shown me some foul side of you since we, we've been together in all these years. You, you have been open, you've been honest, your service, mm, your loyalty and faithfulness and your commitment, I think, have been a star. One thing I do like is <coughs> we can have candid conversation, open honest conversation. Sometimes it's challenging, but we know that we will get to a place where we seek to understand each other and we want actual progress and you know the best for one another we want to be a unit i saw that quite early on that we yeah and that hasn't changed yeah and uh, i do love that we never Shut traveled up. together so we're watching alone we're watching and, yeah, yeah alone yeah. like just by ourselves that's one thing i'm looking forward to mm. us on holiday together on the beach somewhere Nice weather, cocktails. Yeah. Hiking, yeah, having good views go and hiking. just staying, you know, put for a while. I mean, I, I want to parachute. I don't know about you, jump out of a plane. That. I don't know about that, okay, I'll do that on my onesie and then you'd be like, yes, you can do it, baby. You got that. life insurance, innit? Yeah. Okay, I don't yet, so. <laughs> yeah, give me life places and times where I think yeah she has such a good point and she can lead in this um, so yeah you go for it and other yeah. part times are placed to my strength and I go ahead and lead in them. Do you think I, I easily let you do that? Oh yeah yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll say so. Um, I believe the direction of where we want to go as well um, as a family. Um, it comes with conversation but we both, yeah, um, I think we're just very we both, agreed on it. Yeah. yeah, we both have a say. We both have a say, 100%. Yeah. It's not you just bend to my will and that's it. No, we realize communication is vital. Yes, so we have come to the end. We've and come <coughs> to the end <coughs> of the Q&A. And we are signing out thank you guys so much for um all the questions that you sent through we hope you've gotten to know us a bit better have a bit of insight into our lives and our relationship and you also you know just was able to take something valuable um away from you know our story peace